Uh, today marks day two of the Kenya Certificate of Secondary Education exams. Mm-hmm. Uh, they are going on countrywide. And of course, exam cheating has been something that has plagued uh, these examinations over the last few decades. Mm-hmm. And yesterday, the um, CS for Education, that's Julia Sogwamba, had a lot to say. He, one, urged courts to quickly handle cases of exam cheating to serve as a deterrent and ensure integrity in the national examinations. Mm-hmm. Um, there was also other issues that he spoke about. And security agents and examinations officials were reminded not to have mobile phones while exams are ongoing mm-hmm. to prevent leaks and malpractices. And also reports are indicating teachers have been implicated in aiding exam cheating have also been very, very troubling. I think that's something we've all had um, a little bit of this and that here and there. Yes, but yeah. Mariam, look at a situation whereby we have over 965,000 plus mm-hmm. students sitting in an examination. And I think that's why the government officials have been deployed to monitor secondary school national examinations. And the exam- Exams are administered under strict security. Remember, CS Mashogu uh, instructed security teams to stay vigilant against exam malpractice. And uh, every other person who's been in that position has had the tough task of uh, trying to make sure that they get to monitor uh, and invigilate examinations. We've mm-hmm. had so many cases of cheating. And you know what it does to the job market? Simply because True. ume soma, ume iba mtiani, and then you get into a university for a course that you've been called for but you're not qualified for. Mm-hmm. For example, you get you want to get into something like medicine, like in Unajua Vizuri, uh, your mental capacity cannot handle such pressure, especially when it comes to academia. Mm-hmm. And uh, now it becomes a problem whereby we have um, people dropping out. That's very mm-hmm. true. Or, um, God forbid, if the cycle continues, mm-hmm. then you have someone who's cheated their way off uh, all through school. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it can be harmless if you're going into some careers. But like if you've said something like medicine, you definitely don't want to be treated by a doctor who mm-hmm. cheated their way through school. Right. Yeah. So does pretend like very big problems for the job market as well mm-hmm. for our employability as Kenyans in uh, here and abroad. So yeah. of course issues ni nyingi sana. And of course uh, other things are like the support that's offered to the students, especially during exam time. Mm-hmm. We know that some students uh, actually sit their exams when they are expectant. Mm-hmm. And of course yesterday, uh, as I was watching news, I, I heard that there is a student who's due uh, to actually give birth today as uh, they continue the exams and mm-hmm. I, I believe that there was a lot of stigmatization on the same but uh, with the these high level support that should come as a result as well because okay to exam a lot of things really happen that's very very mm-hmm. true and hopefully um no one will be victimized of mm-hmm. course and all students will be able to sit for their papers this will be um a less hectic kcse than other previous ones but of course we do wish all the candidates who are sitting for their exams the absolute best as they go in to do their papers today also there's one peculiar peculiar behavior that happens Mm -hmm. every time we have a cs from a particular community Mm -hmm. you tend to see that there's a major improvement uh, of students within that area i hope it's Uh, not something we're gonna see it's been something Uh, that has been seen uh over a period of time and oh Oh my god yeah that's a trend i've not noticed i'm going to have to go look back at the results just go and look back at the results you, yeah. you'll get to realize that uh, if there's a minister for education mm-hmm. or there's a cs for uh, that particular ministry that as soon as they get into office then within the few years that they're in office unona ka improvement within their area unona watu wengi wanatoka hiyo area na e mingi sana and mm. we hope that uh, we wish we actually wish the best to all the students sitting exams and we hope that everything good gets to follow you good morning